Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It's good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Co-creation at its best, really. You are knowing what you are wanting. Moves about, yes. It expands. Do you like the feeling of desire? That's such a good thing, that feeling of desire. Desire feels really good when you aren't crushing it with doubt. <laughs> when you desire something that you believe, oh, that desire is calling life right through you. It's your vortex. It's your inner being standing with the vibrational version of your desire, the fully culminated law of attraction has gathered all of the cooperative components version of you and your desire. And because law of attraction is so powerful and because your inner being is too, when your inner being focuses upon your desire as it always does strong current happens it's a calling it's a calling that's calling you to it that's what enthusiasm feels like that's what that feeling of wanting to get up and get to it it feels like that's what life feels like that's what that feeling of clarity and energy is but if you have a desire and you've been practicing noticing that it's taking too long or that it isn't unfolding in the way you wanted it to if you are aware of your desire, but when you think of your desire, what's active in you from your physical perspective is the absence of it, the not being there yet of it. Then you're offering a vibration about your desire that is contrary to your desire. And it's like sticking a stick in the spokes of your wheel. That's what resistance is. When life has caused you to ask for something as it does all day, every day. And that source energy is calling you and everything necessary to the creation of what it is you want to that creation point. And you don't go. You hesitate. You're doubtful or you're critical or you're complaining. You introduce the resistance into the equation. So you're going to hear us talk a lot about, if you listen to us at all, the path of least resistance. It's really the path of most allowance. They're the same thing. But as we refer to the path of least resistance, what we're talking about is source figuring out every which way to get you to what you want in the way that you are offering the least resistance. If you have no resistance, oh, the paths are open, they are wide and energy is moving and all kinds of things are happening and you have evidence of it all day, every day. Things happening, things falling into place, things that seem amazing, things that you just can hardly believe. Something just comes out of your mouth and there is manifestational evidence of the very thing that you're interested in. It's happening to you all day, every day. But often, because you are focused upon the opposite of what you mean to be, because every subject is two subjects, isn't it? Wanted and absence of it. So sometimes you might think you're thinking about more money or a better relationship or a better lifestyle in one way or another. But sometimes without even meaning to, you are focused in absolute opposition to the very thing you want. And you can tell that because when you do that, you are offering resistance. And when you offer resistance, you can feel it. It's what negative emotion is. It's you slowing it down. So we just want to say early on here in this conversation that you are the only one who throws the resistance into the equation and you do it by practicing thoughts that are opposite of your own desire. That's all. In the early days, as we began flowing through Esther, we were saying to you that if you want something and you believe it, then it is. It's done. 
if you want it and believe it then it is done because there is no resistance that is keeping you from being in the vibrational frequency that allows you to realize it and realize it fully but if you want it and doubt it it cannot come for as long as you harbor doubt about what you want it cannot come and usually the reason that you hold doubt about things is because we love you so much and you know what's coming next after we say that we love you so much and this is going to sound really odd to you but we're going to say it in a way because it sounds odd to you because we want to get your attention about something you're doing that you don't even know that you're doing you've got to keep your nose out of your business you're going to stop being so deliberate about what isn't happening because the creative process has already taken care of it step one is you ask you can't help but do that all day every day life causes you to do that so you are sending these rockets of desire step two is source answers which means the source energy within you with the help of law of attraction all that is is focused upon the outcome that you have asked for your desires have already come into vibrational fulfillment step three is you got to find a way to lower your resistance so that you can be one of the cooperative components that is in the vibrational vicinity of what you're asking for you have to be in a frequency that allows you to realize so all day every day you are being inspired called encouraged guided prodded cajoled sources doing everything imaginable and things you can't yet imagine to orchestrate circumstances and events to please you some of you don't feel worthy enough to even accept that as a possibility even though it's happening around you all day every day so we see our value as we play with you today in offering enough of what we know about the laws of the universe and enough about what we know about where you stand in relationship to everything you want each of you that you will feel some lessening of resistance that's what soothing is some lessening of resistance and therefore a raising of your vibrational frequency and therefore an aligning with the energy between you and you and therefore an opening of the passageway between you and you and therefore an allowing of the focus of source who is with you all day every day to be received fully by you you see in every moment that you are having a conversation in every moment that your opinion is active on something your inner being is active with an opinion too and when those opinions blend such as you're wonderful or you're worthy or you're good or you're in your right place at your right time or that all is well or that things are always working out for you or that things are opening in a way that is benefit to you or that you are fulfilling your reason for being here right here and now or that you are loved by source or that the universe is on your side or that all is well or that or that or that when you are on one of those thoughts that source knows so clearly about you you can feel the fullness of your alignment that's what your elation feels like that's what that love feels like that's what that passion feels like that's what enthusiasm feels like and most of all that's what clarity feels like it feels so good to be tuned in tapped in turned on in vibrational sync with who you are that's how you're supposed to live here you're not supposed to be muddling around in confusion you're not supposed to be squabbling with one another you're not supposed to be looking at each other needing somebody else to be a little different so you can feel a little better you didn't come here to control the world you didn't come here to change the world or save the world you knew it didn't need to be saved you, you would, would constantly change but you didn't come to fix things that are broken you came to revel in the perfection of this time space reality knowing that it would serve you so well knowing that the variety of it would inspire within you clarity about what you personally and individually and with so much blessing and worthiness seen from source energy that you would pick and choose the things that are important to you and that you would use the power of your mind and the precision of your own guidance system to focus yourself into complete alignment with your own personal desires so that all that you desire could come to fruition because you are the creator of your reality nobody else you are the creator of your own reality we love you so much but you're lazy
You don't create your own reality deliberately. Most of you create it by default. You look over there and then you look over there and then you look over there and then you look over there. You give your attention to what's going on around you and you let what's going on around you set the tone for who you are. You let your vibration be controlled by what you're observing. So you're regurgitating life when you do that. You're not creating life. But what you said when you came into this physical experience, you said, I will look at the variety and from it, I will choose what I prefer. And I know I will find all kinds of new ideas because the culmination, the combination, the beingness of all of you, as you mix together, oh, you're giving one another such opportunity to launch your rockets of desires, to set into motion the new creation of which you are a part and for which reason you came. So we would like to convince you that the reason that you are here is because it is so much fun to find an idea that has not come to fruition. Maybe one that has never been unto the universe and maybe one that you have never experienced personally. You've launched this new idea and then all of the resources of source come into vibrational concert in order to orchestrate the perfect unfolding that you have defined the question is it's the question that this seminar wants to ask and answer are you up to speed with your own desire because you can't stop wanting give that up so what we would like you to focus on as we begin here today is that when life has caused a desire to be born within you and that desire is calling all cooperative components to it. And you are for some stubborn, unnecessary, from our point of view, really unnecessary. We're going to be kind as we can. Ridiculous reason. <laughs> you argue for your limitations. You begin explaining to yourself and others why you cannot go there now. And we say, the only reason you're not going there now is because you're saying you can't go there now. If you could just accept the energy that creates worlds is working with you. And if you could understand that every bit of negative emotion that you ever feel is because you've stuck your stick in the wheel, you're slowing it down. So cut that out. We're eager to talk with you about anything that matters to you. There is nothing that is off limits. You will notice a perfect unfolding. As this day progresses, your sense of who you are will come into further and further and further and further clarity. It is our expectation that at the end of this gathering, you will be in a different vibrational point of attraction than you began with. It's always that way, which means Everything in your world will shift in response to your shift. So it's great fun to relax into your natural well-being and then to experience the real life examples of what happens when you shift at your center. What do you want to talk about? You've come with things. It's going to be a really 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 good day